in this week's discussion of video, we're going to show you some interesting examples of other people's work. Now remember that the basics of still photography that you've just learned all these previous weeks apply to making successful videos. For starters, we are incredibly lucky to be able to show you some remarkable videos from a project called Beautiful Chemistry. Here's the website with full credit. Now, I encourage you to see them all. I am quite sure they will inspire you to come up with your own amazing videos if your work requires video capturing macro-level phenomena. Scientist Yan Liang, a collaborator of mine, is the creator and director of the project. We asked him to tell us a little about his techniques for three of the videos. Welcome, Liang, to our class. Thank you, please. It's wonderful being part of this course. I'll be happy to talk about how we capture three particular phenomena. In this segment, we are showing metal displacement reactions. We drop zinc metal into different solutions and recorded the emergence of beautiful structures of other metals, such as silver and lead. All the reactions were shot in real time and we sped them up during editing in Final Cut Pro X. For example, one shot of silver displacement was sped up 60 times, which means one second of our video is one minute in real time. For light setup, we use two large LED panels to light a cubic glass container in which the reactions occurred. Typically, a black clothes or a white plastic board was placed about one foot behind the container as black or white background. We shot reactions in the front with a Panasonic GH4 camera and a 100mm micro lens. All the reactions were shot in a normal lab with fluorescent lights. Because the LED panels were so much brighter than the fluorescent lights, we typically left them on. In this segment, we are showing a few crystallization processes, including crystallization of copper sulfate, sodium cell sulfate, and two more. We chose crystallization processes that are fast enough so that we could shoot in real time and speed them up in editing. We did not select crystallization processes that could take hours or days to form large crystals. For those, time-lapse photography has to be used, and lighting and exposure have to be carefully controlled to avoid flicker in the final video. Finally, in this segment, we are showing a few bubbling reactions such as zinc metal reacts with hydrochloric acid to form hydrogen bubbles. These reactions were fast, and usually we did not speed them up in editing. Our light setup worked well for bubbles. The white highlights on the right and left side of the bubbles are the reflection of the two LED panels. These highlights gave bubbles a very interesting look.